This planet is home to many giants of the reptile world. Some of these reptiles are very dangerous creatures, and some are gentle giants. It's only natural to want to focus on some of the larger reptiles alive today, but there are plenty of reptiles that are giants of their own worlds. Some species may not be the largest in the world, but they are the largest of their kind, and I will be focusing on these species today. The first reptile family we will be looking at today is a gecko family. The geckos in this family can be found across Australia, New Zealand and New Caledonia, and there are around 150 species in 25 genera. This family of geckos is the most ecologically diverse and widespread family of geckos in both Australia and New Caledonia, and they are the only family of geckos found in New Zealand. Almost all species in this family have toe pads, with the exception of one species from Australia. These toe pads give them a really good grip on surfaces, and this makes it very easy for them to get from one place to the other. As this gecko family is so diverse, one species can look completely different to another. There are some small species that take advantage of desert environments, and then there are some other green, beautiful tree-dwelling species. As most gecko species need to be quite agile, the majority of them are relatively small. One of the places where this rule isn't followed is New Caledonia, as this territory is home to some of the largest geckos in the world. One of the best places to find some of the largest species is the Isle of Pines, as here you'll find the very famous Crested Gecko, and you'll also find the New Caledonian Giant Gecko. This species is the largest living member of its family, and it's also the largest living species of gecko in the world. This gecko is used as an example of island gigantism, as this species grows a lot larger than its mainland counterparts. In the wild, this species can be quite hard to identify, as across its range it differs in coloration and size. The larger populations truly are giants of their own world, as they can reach a maximum length of around 43 centimeters, and they have a maximum weight of around 500 grams. This size means that they can tackle even the largest insects and fruits, and it also means that they are kings of the gecko world. For our next reptile family, we will be heading over to southern and eastern Africa, as we will be taking a look at the girdled lizards. Girdled lizards are diurnal and insectivorous, and they are mostly terrestrial, inhabiting crevices in rocky terrains. This family is once again extremely diverse, and one of its most famous members is the armadillo girdled lizard. This species curls itself up when threatened, and this is a very useful way to protect itself from some predators. Most species in this family have muted coloration, but there is one genus that is extremely colourful. One of the species in this genus is named after David Attenborough, and it is one of the more colourful members. One genus in this family completely sticks out from the rest, and that's because many species in this genus have very small legs or no legs at all. You'd think that this genus would be home to the largest member in this family, but instead the largest girdled lizard belongs to the Smaug genus. The giant girdled lizard possibly has the best scientific name, as it basically describes it as a giant dragon. This species is endemic to the highland grasslands of South Africa, and it is the largest species in its family. It can reach a maximum length of around 21 centimeters, and I couldn't find a reliable source for its weight, so if any of you keep this lizard as a pet and you know its weight, then let me know down in the comments below. So even though it's not the largest lizard in the world, it has one of the coolest names, and it's a highly adapted insect predator. The next reptile family we will be taking a look at is the chameleon family. The members of this family are most well known for their colour changing abilities, and also their abilities to shoot out their tongues. Chameleons are relatively slow creatures but they are master ambush predators, and their camouflage is one of the main reasons why they are so successful. To be able to locate and zero in on their prey they have very impressive eyes, and these eyes can move independently of one another. As there are around 200 species of chameleon, they come in many different shapes and sizes. One of the smallest species can be the size of your fingernail, and one of the largest species is the size of a cat. Africa is home to the most chameleon species, and the majority of these chameleons can be found on Madagascar. There are around 100 species of chameleon on the island, and this includes the largest chameleon in the world. 
Parsons chameleon can be found in eastern and northern Madagascar, and it's typically found in humid primary forest environments. As you might be able to guess, this chameleon was named after the man who discovered it, and this man had terrible hair. These chameleons only have a lifespan of around 10 to 12 years, but during this time they can grow very large. They have a maximum length of around 70 centimeters, and they can weigh up to 750 grams. This size rivals that of house cats, and it means that this species is the largest of these mysterious reptiles. The next reptile family we will be taking a look at are the true vipers. True vipers are endemic to Europe, Asia and Africa, and they lack the heat-sensing pit organs that characterise their sister group. There are currently 13 genera that are recognised, and most of these species are found in tropical and subtropical environments. There are quite a few famous members of this family, such as the bush vipers, the puff adders and the horned vipers. Even though these snakes are very deadly in their own right, one of the deadliest members of this family is a relatively small snake. The saw-scaled viper is one of the deadliest snakes in the world, and this is simply because it's very aggressive and quick to bite. Some scientists believe it to be responsible for more human deaths than all other snake species combined, and this is despite not having the most toxic venom. The saw-scaled viper wins the award for deadliest member of this family, but the award for largest goes to the Gaboon Viper. This large snake is found in Sub-Saharan Africa, and it has the longest fangs of any venomous snake with a length of 5 centimeters. The Gaboon Viper is quite a strange looking snake, as it's very thick and stocky, and has a large arrow shaped head. This heavy set body allows them to be very powerful snakes, and they tend to feed on small mammals and birds. This diet helps them to reach a pretty impressive size, as they have a maximum length of around 205 centimeters, and they can max out at 15 kilograms. At this size, they're a snake that you really don't want to mess with, and they are the largest of the true vipers. The final reptile family we will be taking a look at is a relatively small one, and it is the snapping turtles. The members of the snapping turtle family can be found across the Americas, and they have been split into two genera. One includes the common snapping turtles, and the other includes the alligator snapping turtles. There are three species in the common snapping turtle genus, and the most famous member is the common snapping turtle of North America. The alligator snapping turtles are much larger, and there are two or three species in this genus depending on who you ask. Most people recognise the alligator snapping turtle and the swanee snapping turtle, but a third species has been proposed. These turtles are impressive ambush predators, and they'll feed on pretty much anything that gets too close. In some cases, they will even feed on other turtles and small alligators, and older specimens can reach some colossal sizes. The alligator snapping turtle maxes out at around 80 centimeters across the carapace, and they max out at around 135 kilograms. A turtle of this size could possibly take off your arm, and these creatures truly are the giants of the swamps. If there are any other animals that you want me to include in these videos, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.